Leica Krios 5109. It's won the Motorhome Awards for 2024. Let's have a look at this one. Well, that's a lovely lounge area with a lovely round table, leather seats, big bench seating. Table's not in the way either. There seems to be lots of floor space, so that's very good. Nice big cupboard, really strong catchers. Good touchscreen control panels. Drop down bed over the cab because it's an A class. This one has a full size Stepford, well, say full size, has an oven, <laughs> which is handy. Does that make that into a cutlery drawer, I wonder? It could be. Oh, it's very deep, so that's good use of under cooker space. This one has pull out, big pull out drawer with some hidden, ah, oh, hidden cutlery drawer inside there. It's very good. Lovely big sink, Corian sort of copycat. We've got a microwave and a Dometic fridge freezer. And then we've got a twin bed scheme that can be made into a big huge double. Oh, I went to step then and there wasn't one. So you can close it off into a ensuite. I think I may have looked at this one last year, but it is a lovely van. Um, it feels nice. It feels like nice quality. There's a step here, which I don't know how you open, but I'm not going to force it in case I break something. Oh, I've got the slide out rail and storage here. So that's nice. I haven't got to go rummaging under the bed. That's nice. You've got somewhere to put your TV. Smallish, but you know, out of the way cupboards. And it looks like you could sit up in this one for a nice morning cuppa or to read your book. And then we've got a pull out slider here, which you could either store kitchen things in or I don't know, shoes or something, underwear maybe. Oops. A pull door on this one. It's got a fake wood effect. It looks slightly cheap, but would have been better if it was something else to be fair but the shower itself looks fabulous it's got a duck board on the bottom which you have to remove when you're showering nice big shower head though and as i say you can make it into a dressing en suite area underfloor storage flat floor do like a flat floor that's what you get with your a-class now we've got the Globe Trail on a Citroen 640. This is new for this year. 66,473. Little cutaway, but this does swing out so you can include the driver's seat or passenger seat. A couple of cupboards. Flap up. I have to say they're all a bit of a bit of a muchness, aren't they? They um, I suppose there's only so much they can do, but there's a little lock here for the drawers, she says. Doesn't seem to, oh, there you go. Big cutlery drawer. Ah, oh, now this is different, actually. We've got the shower cubicle in between the kitchen and the bedroom area. Tambour door has to go around that way. Oh, it's double, I see. <laughs> Sorry, confused. Toilet sink with shower the kind you get in a Heimer garage there's two tumbers there is a shower curtain as well oh, but there is well done death left there is actually somewhere to put your shower head I've actually taken that too far that's it so we've got a shelf we've got a cabinet there's a catch on the oh, mirror on both sides <laughs> that's handy Little sink, little storage underneath as well, and a swivelable, swivelable. <laughs> I can't say it. A toilet that swivels. There you go. And another big mirror. So lots of mirrors. And then this one wraps around in itself to take up less space, which is quite a clever idea, I think. This was slightly different because you can lie this way, but you have got storage in the floor in the steps you've got your 
controls here for the gas. You've got a tiny little cupboard. All storage welcome now. And there's one on this side too. Again, just shelves. No hanging space in here, but you've got lights that are movable on a track. So the storage shelves here. This obviously you have to take up when you're using the shower, because that would be your shower tray. But there you go. So that's the Death Left the Globe Trail on a Citroen. So yeah, it's just the camper vans that are new this year. They've had upgrades to, you know, decals and things like that on the other things. This one's on a Fiat 540DR. This one's 71,443. Same thing, timbre door, different colour scheme basically. But they have got that good shower holding thing which is missing in a lot of the vans. So quite impressed by that. Have a look at it from the from a distance. Pop top. Globe Trail Advantage. There we go. Winner of the camper vans under five meters. This is new. Swift Monza. Pop top. On the Ford. It's looking very swish. Nice colour. <laughs> Oh, I've got a back seat that presumed, presumably lies flat to make a bed. Somebody's in there at the moment, but a little storage locker, socket. This is the inside of the Monza on the Ford. I'm never convinced about black interiors, they always seem very dark. I mean, I've got a light on here. This bed, it's a rock and roll bed goes down forward <laughs> doesn't seem to want to stay in position rolls forward it's got a handle here to secure it into position that folds forward and you sleep on the mattress that's in the back making a seat there's another version in a different colorway so this one's got a cream interior which always looks more spacious i think but yeah nice fan oops bang my head I never get used to the height of a camper van Small compressor fridge. Nice deep drawers. And sink pop up tap. Two burners. You've got all your control panel here, some storage for clothes there. This is the Ascari 384, which is new for this year. This one is retailing at £75,090. There's someone in there at the moment. This is the 384. Let's have a quick look in the garage. Oh, wow, that's a big garage. You've got your table stored away in here. You've got latch lashing points for bicycles. Let's have a look. We've got the shower room. We've got toilet with camber door. We've got little glass-fronted cabinet with a shelf, tip-up sink and a proper shower, not one of these tap ones. We've got a sink, three burner hob, nice big cupboard underneath, little small oven toaster grill, slimline Dometic fridge in this one, opens both directions big overhead cupboard, a skylight above the cooking area, there is a microwave, it's a very compact but well organised aerial in there, You've got your control panel over the door, we've got a little bit of storage in the floor there, small one, we have got underbed hanging space and some access to water. Another hanging space with a shelf. This cushion obviously could be put in here to fill out, but that's quite a big bed. Uh, I think you can have a different colourway. But there are absolutely no cupboards in here at all, which I think is actually um, a bit of a waste. Um, there's a little bit more under here in fairness, but that's a tiny cupboard. Somewhere to put your socks and pants, I suppose. But that is very small. Yeah, 
not enough space. So this looks like a travel seat, but I'm not completely convinced it is because there's no seat belt. I'm not overly impressed, to be fair. This is quite a cramped space. There is a step. Four travel seats, I think. But yeah, not enough cupboards in the bedroom. I know people don't like them over their heads, but yeah, none at all. Yeah, the Swift stand is huge. Um, there's a lot of similar, similar sort of things. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a quick look in the Contiki 874 because I haven't actually been in one before. But I wasn't very impressed with the Ascari. Sorry, Swift. Um, felt a bit plasticky. Then I have just come out of like Heimers and things, so maybe that's the difference in the price. So the Contiki 874 retails at 115,490 in comparison to say a Heimer of this size which is about 200,000 so it's quite a big price difference so they've got to cut the cost somewhere I suppose but let's have a look in here oh that's a lovely big lounge area and a folding table that doesn't get in your way so that's good um, this is on a Fiat nice big lounge um, there is a drop down bed here this could possibly be the ones that the Roman Radfords have, I'm not sure. Control panel over the door. We've got lots of lovely storage. Cutlery drawer. Oven. Pull out larder cabinet. Got a microwave. Lots of deep cupboards. An air fan. Lovely domestic fridge. Yeah, I think this might be actually the one the Roman Radfords have. You've got good space here. Um, you can make these into beds. And there's lots of lovely storage all the way around. Yeah, this is nice. Hanging space there. This, if I remember rightly, has a pull-out. Yeah, it has a little pull-out table. So you could be working here and stuff. And the uh, chairs are surprisingly comfortable i'm quite impressed with this one this one's nice there is a step up it's not a flat floor let's have a look in the shower <coughs> toilet oh a separate shower area so it's got a uh, swing out door towel rail air vent over the wheel but we've got storage under the sink very nice. So as I say, that's the Contiki 874. Nice decals. <laughs> Pull out storage underneath. Barbecue point. The garage is quite small though, I would say, but then you're using that space for the back lounge instead. So not ideal for bikes if you've got lots of bikes, but then I suppose you could put a bike carrier on the back. Oh, possibly, there is a window. But yeah. Oh, it's got a tall door on this side, but I don't know where the point is because that is solid. It's not like you can walk into it or anything. We've got the Auto Trail 690L, this one, on a Ford. That'd be interesting. This is XL. And it retails at 73, this model. Swivel seats. Catch. Mm, nice shelf cupboard, nice and deep. It's got a lift up flap on the side. Nice square sink. It's a tap. It's got a proper sort of half-sized oven. Lots of storage. Oh, and a sort of hidden cutlery drawer thing that pushes out of the way, that's quite handy. Oh gosh, the catches on these are really strong. Struggling to open them one handed and it flaps down quite, it's not soft close, so it does flap down. Controls above the door. We have got light on for you. We have got that for toilet shower curtain sink and there is actually a little holdy thing for your hose to make a shower we've got a nice lounge though nice u-shaped lounge i'm not sure whether it 
converts into a bed. It must do because there isn't another one. Um, and then we've got, yeah, there's your infill cushion. Some hanging space. What have we got down here? Some more storage in the shelf. We have got more storage cupboards. There's loads of storage. Lovely big panoramic windows and a skylight. TV point. What have we got under here? Bolster cushions and things. So I think you can make it as to two singles. Or I think that maybe pulled, that bit pulls out. Yes, this bit pulls out and then you can put your infill cushions on to make it into sort of a double slash twins. So yeah, it's comfy seats too. Nice little lights with USBs on them. Yeah, so actually this is quite a nice van. This is auto trail, as I say, you've got your light switches here. Slimline fridge. Little cupboard possibly to store the table, I don't know. Locker. Go. It's under floor storage, basically. You can put your table or your awning or things like that. There's a little socket in there too. Yeah, quite like that. You've got your satellite dishes, your Apotec tellies, your Oyster satellite, you've got your Max Air fan. All the bits and bobs you might need if you are converting your own van or indeed adding to one that you've bought ready-made. For now, that's probably going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will carry on with my Wales tour after this video has been out. So thanks for watching. Bye.